Hey guys. Buenos dias. It's a beautiful and smoky day here in Vernon, BC. Because Kelowna and Vernon are so close together, we've never really traveled or explored Vernon as much as we should, I think. We've come out here to do some errands um, and kind of view it as like a sister extension city of Kelowna. It's usually a town that we drive through on our way to other places. And so today we're going to go full tourist and try to explore all the cool things that Vernon has to offer. And we thought we'd take you with us. Let's check it out. stop of the day was Triumph Coffee, a local cafe located downtown. After a few coffees, we strolled along the main strip before heading to a very popular family farm. We're now at Davison Orchard Country Village. It's this cute little orchard country market town that they've made. I don't know how many more buzzwords I can add to that, but it is so cute. They have so many different things out here, like little markets, bakeries, and also a train tour. So it's a functioning orchard uh, that they've made as like a little, almost like an amusement park thing, but without rides or anything like that. It's it's adorable. Let's go. Let's go check it out. I'll show you. They make fresh fruit ice cream, and all of that sounds good to me. So I want to try that first. Hi, how's it going? Um, this is our first time here. We want the ice cream, please. Yeah. <laughs> and what, you can pick one or two of the berries. To oh, in. okay. Yeah. Um, I'll do. Is there a mixed one? Yeah. Okay, sweet. I'll just do the next one, please. In a bowl, please. It's so nice and refreshing on a hot day. Normally, I would get waffle cone, but it's so hot out that I don't want to be sticky for the rest of the day. That's why we went with cup. There was a concern for meltage here, but it's like it's really nice and fruity. It almost tastes healthy. <laughs> Definitely get the fresh fruit ice cream here. It's so good. Yeah. It's worth it. So good. Smell sunscreen. So the country market here has a lot of cute little knickknacks and a lot of food items as well. Most of it is local, so Davison Orchard brand things like hot sauces, barbecue sauce, dressings and a lot of locally made knickknacks as well. We were pleasantly surprised to discover that they have a petting zoo, so obviously we had to go over and see Hi. if we could make some new friends. Come on, we'll offer 25 cents. Well, there's a sheep. teeth at all it's just like like a fish okay I gotta share with the others here you go I'm gonna drop this <laughs> big boy hi hello hi what up oh that was very aggressive <laughs> are you gonna be nice I'm scared <laughs> Hold your hands up, I bet it'll go. <laughs> yeah, hold, hold your hand like this. Oh my god, I don't want 
Let's just make out with my hand. That was a different kind of experience. <laughs> Our cute new farm friends helped us wait it out until it was time for... We're on a tractor ride. Through a farm. Through an orchard. Through an orchard. Well, there's peppers right there, so I feel like that's a farm. Farm territory. This place is actually so much fun. You don't have to be a kid to enjoy Davison Orchards. <laughs> Guys, we're learning so much about farming. As you know, the Okanagan Valley is known for its vineyards and orchards. And this is actually the first time we've gone into an orchard. You actually learn so much about the orchard itself, about the different fruit trees that they have, the history of all like 88 years that the family has been here. And Rob, our tour guide and tractor driver today, has been super informative and really fun. And yeah, it's like, it's only like $7.50 per person for an adult and less for kids. It's actually really fun and you get to learn all about orchards. We just want to take a chance to thank the Davison family for letting us come to their home and check out their orchards and you're speaking like we were personally invited. Personally invited. <laughs> but no, it's a really cool thing that they're doing. Uh, it's still an active farm, still, you know, making crops and feeding people. And it was a really cool experience. And I think it's really cool that Vernon has a place like this. Try the ice cream, seriously. <laughs> and now we're gonna head to a spot just down the road that should be also pretty cool and sweet. Our next stop today in Vernon is Planet B Honey Farm. It is a honey farm and a meadery, so they do all kinds of different things with their honey. This whole area is an info center all about bees and honey. Here's the queen, she has a white dot. Well, clear. And then this whole hive has access through this tube and they go outside. To this side of the tube and then they go out into the outside world. I'm a little bit scared of bees so I'm not gonna go any closer but it's really cool to see this hive out here. That makes sense, it's wax. Yeah. How much water is added? Because it is quite, it's like liquid, yeah, right? Yeah, it's, it's about 50-50, some of these ones. Okay. They do get more, like these ones down there have a lot more honey. Because they've got, because they're just way sweeter. But uh, yeah, that one is certainly quite even in terms of water and honey. So that was the first time I actually ever had mead, which is a honey wine. And it's just made with honey, water, and yeast. And they were all pretty delicious. They kind of tasted like fruit wine, which I've had before. And what I learned is that because the bees get nectar from different types of plants, that also affects the mead. Something they did also make was a apple-y type of mead where they get apples from BX Orchard, which is our next stop here. The BX Press Cidery grows their own apples and also makes cider out of them. So although we weren't able to walk in and do a tasting because they're quite busy this weekend and you need a reservation, we did take some bottles to go. So I have this whiskey barrel aged cider and you have the mint, mint limeade, limeade BX Press it's like soda. Yeah. So we're going to try these. It's so hot out, this is so refreshing. Yeah, nice and refreshing on a hot day. This one is quite dry, which I like. And I'm really enjoying the whiskey infused the, things, the, the whiskey barrel things. That's kind of the flavor of the season right now. But if you do plan to come here, 
try to get a reservation in the evening. I think they said after six o'clock. There's live music every night. Live music every night and you can get a whole flight of ciders that you can try. We're now at Ratio Company, which is one of our favorite stops here in Vernon. Uh, it's an old train station converted into a coffee shop, uh, cafe, pizza joint. It's pretty dope. So check this out on Fridays. They have donuts. <laughs> so Fridays are donut day at Ratio and typically you have to reserve or pre-order them like on Wednesday or Thursday night and then you can pick it up on Fridays but we, we lucked out today we did not order them but they had a bunch extra that we were able to just pick up here at the cafe when we got in and we're ready to eat some donuts. So we got a matcha strawberry one and a chocolate coconut meringue one. Yeah with cream filling so I'm pretty excited. Mm -hmm. Let's, let's, let's try this. it. Frustration. Didn't get in the filling yet. I didn't reach it yet. <laughs> so our next stop is the first of the year, Vernon Night Market. They're hosting it in Polson Park. So it's a twofer because we were going to go to Polson Park anyway, because yeah. it is Vernon's iconic city park. And they just happened to be having this night market today. And like Tom said, it's the first this year. So we're excited to see what local vendors they have here in Vernon. We're also right here in front of this beautiful, lovely flower garden. Flower display. It has an interesting vantage point. It's got like a whole staircase and everything. Yeah. A little excessive i think but i mean if you want the best angle of flowers or we're just missing something <laughs> it's pretty so Polson park is a large green space right as you enter the city Polson park houses a band shell the vernon arts center the okanagan science center yeah it's really nice it's really pretty lots of green space inside of the city there's a lot of sports fields too and obviously there's this open space here where they're able to have this market. And I don't know about you guys, but we love farmers and crafters markets. I because, love markets. Because I think markets like this, especially when it has like small businesses in the area, says a lot about the community, how much they encourage small businesses and people who are independent makers for different things. So I'm excited to see what they have here. We've only ever been to Kelowna and Peachland markets. So yeah. I want to see what Vernon has to offer. One thing we love about farmers markets and just markets in general, even art markets like this one, is being able to support local. So whenever we travel, we try our best to support local whenever we can. And we try to stimulate the local economy with our dollars. Whenever you have the opportunity to buy local, shop local, it's worth it. It helps out somebody on a one-to-one -one level. Especially during these past COVID times, it's more evident that local and small businesses need our support and our money. Yeah. So, you know, it's going towards a bigger cause and to actual people that need it. Yep. All right, end of our end of our, end of our little box, PSA. I guess. <laughs> Hey, So for our last stop in Vernon, which is technically not Vernon, we're technically in Coldstream, which is right next to Vernon, but we've stopped at Cal Beach, which is at the north end of Kalamaka Lake, and it is gorgeous. Kalamaka Lake is known as a lake of many colors, and uh, that has proved to be true. It is beautiful water, there's like greens and reds and stuff, it's, it's really cool. Um, Vernon is an unreal city for water access as it is on three different lakes 
uh, Kalamaka Lake here, which is a decent sized lake. The second lake that they're on is Okanagan Lake, which is shared with Kelowna. Uh, they're at the top of it. That lake is huge. And then further north is the smallest lake, and that is Swan Lake. Vernon's really cool, and it's got three different lakes, which is, you know, two more lakes than Kelowna has. Or Toronto, for that matter. Shots fired. That's it for us today in Vernon. We hope you enjoyed spending a day with us as we explored. If you're ever making a trip to the Okanagan, make sure to make a stop in Vernon. At the very least for that ice cream. That stuff was good. <laughs> We're so glad we got to explore this part of the Okanagan and we don't know where our adventures will lead us next time. So if you like this content, subscribe to our channel, like this video and follow us on Instagram if you want to, anywhere it goes. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Bye. We're taking the tractor tour. Please keep that in. We're taking the tractor tour. Uh. Turn it to the right. This one is stuck. <laughs> what was that? Cool, <laughs>